find the sum of the series below by using a well-known function. Don't worry too much about the summation. If we look at the first few terms, hopefully we notice something where we have even powers only appearing and even factorials only appearing. So it's most likely going to be some kind of a cosine x. It seems like we have powers of pi in the numerator, powers of 6 in the denominator. So perhaps pi over 6 is plugged in. But there's an issue with that. The power on 6 doesn't match the power on pi. And if pi over 6 is plugged in, then it needs to be both pi and 6 raised to the nth power each time. And so here's how we're going to remedy this. The 6 that's lacking in the denominator, we're going to provide it by mult or dividing by or multiplying by a 6th. At the same time, we'll be multiplying by 6, grand total of 6 over 6. And that way we don't change the actual function. But the goal in mind is to make the powers match. The power of 6 is just one below what it should be. And so I'm going to put 6 over 6 on every single term, even on the summation. Focus on the individual terms, though. What that allows us to do is up the power on 6. Right now, we have uh, 6 cubed and pi to the 4th and 6 to the 5th and pi to the 6th. But when we put this extra factor of 6 in the denominator here, now it'll get swallowed up and now have the same power as the pi does at every single term. So that's why we put that 6 underneath there. But you can't just put a 6 underneath without also putting 1 in the numerator. And now we make it swallow up. And now the powers on pi and 6 both match. But don't forget, though, you had this extra 6 that was here. And we'll see how to deal with this. These two guys cancel to give us the 1. Let's go to the next slide. The original question stated again. Here's where we're currently at. And what we're going to do is basically incorporate these guys together just to reemphasize that we're talking about exactly pi over 6 raised to each of these powers. I'm not really dealing with the summation too much. You can, but I'm not really dealing with it too much. But whatever I'm doing on one right-hand side, I'm also doing to the left-hand side. And then I notice that these other 6s that were necessary to make things not change are now floating around, and there seems to be one on every term. So let's factor out the 6 that's there on the right-hand side. We're left with a 1, and then a pi 6 over 2, pi 6 to the 2 over 2 factorial, pi 6 to the 4 over 4 factorial, alternating sign. This guy is now going to be the cosine of pi over 6. That's exactly what comes out of that. Any extra 6 is there for the right. We have factored it out. It's here. It's okay. So you go to your unit circle. You find out that pi over 6 has as its cosine root 3 over 2. But don't forget about the 6 that you conveniently needed in there. And then that will cancel to give you a final answer of 3 root 3.